YouTube fam, welcome back to my channel. My name is Luvuno K and I am so glad and grateful that you clicked on this video to watch. Thank you so very much. For the new members, feel right at home. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I clean, I deep clean my kitchen, my apartment kitchen that is. And uh, I hope that you enjoy today's video. So the first place that I'm going to start with is the kitchen. I'm going to remove all the, I'm going to clean all the dishes that have uh, accumulated over the day. So after the dishes, I'm going to put them on the dish rack so that they continue drying. But in the meanwhile, I'm going to clean all my cupboard or my shelf storage units. And uh, I'm going to remove all the contents that are in, that is the containers and all the paper products that I normally store in there. Then I'm going to show you how I clean them. So one of the areas that I tend to overlook when cleaning the kitchen is the top of the cupboard where I'm cleaning right now. And uh, because of that, it had, it had a build up. I don't know if it's dust because this day it's just close to the window, but it was really, really, really dirty. So I will recommend that the next time you do your general cleaning for the kitchen or the entire house, just look over the cupboard. Um, I, I was even ashamed to show it to you guys. But I will show you how it was and uh, the process that I used to clean it. So what I'm using to clean the top of the shelf right now is some liquid soap, um, bleach. I, I used Clorox, Clorox bleach and water. So that's it. And also I used Scotch Bright so that I scrub and get in there and remove all the dust that was there.
say what I mean guys. I have been reserving cleaning this area for the deep clean but I guess right now I'm going to have to clean it weekly. Look at all that dirty water and how the kitchen towel has become dirty. Um, so definitely the next time that you're doing your cleaning make sure you, you target these areas too. So after removing all of the dirt and dust, um, most of it anyway, I'm going to go in with a scotch bright and uh, scouring powder. Um, for the scouring powder, I'm going to be using the Morning Fresh brand. And uh, I want it to be squeaky clean, spotless clean. And uh, for the, the scouring powder, it left the shelf smelling really nice and clean. Um, also another tip when cleaning the, the top of your shelves is to make sure you clean the top of the doors too. Because those tend to, to harbor some dirt that builds up over time. Also, after after scrubbing with the scouring powder, um, go, I also wipe with a damp cloth to remove all of the residuals that are left from the scrubbing and the powder itself. you look at that isn't that just amazing now it looks all clean and amazing and it smells really nice and clean um it's it's even relaxing for me to watch 
so i think i even overdid the scrubbing but anyway it's clean and that's all that matters <laughs> So and then I'm going to sweep over the ceiling to remove any uh, dust that might have built up over there or any cobwebs that might be forming that cannot be seen to the eye. And uh, for the broom that I'm using, uh, it's, it's a common broom that is used in the coastal area. So if, if any of you wants, wants any, you can just comment in the comment section and I, and I might just plug you with one. So then I'm going to use a damp cloth to wipe um, to wipe the door to remove all the, the fingerprint marks and all the scratches that are on the door or the wall. Um, for, for the areas with tough stains, I'm going to use the scouring powder and coat bright to scrub and remove all of the stains. Then wipe it down with a damp cloth again. So I left all the cabinets to dry naturally, air dry that is, and right now they are dry so I'm going to return all of the contents of the cabinets into their rightful place. So my mama used to tell me every time we did cleaning at home to wipe down every single thing that was in the cabinet alongside the cabinet before returning them to make sure that insects get confused or if they they pass by there they don't get the they don't get the sense of direction or they or they do, they, they are afraid to come in and now I'm a grown up woman and I still believe in that <laughs> so that's why you see me wiping down each and everything that I'm returning back to the cabinet area <laughs>
So my kitchen is quite small, so I have to play with space. So I can't clean all the entire kitchen at, at, at its entirety at once. So right now I have to clean the sink area. So this is the only area with the countertop space. So I have to play, I have to play really well in, in order to make sure that each and every spot is clean. So I'm, again, I'm going to go in with a scotch bright and some soap and uh, scrub the walls and wipe down and wipe down the walls especially the area right above the tiles where the tiles are finished that's the area which tends to accumulate a lot of dust so that's where i'm going to um to measure with alongside the, the entire of the kitchen So again I'm going to wipe down the kitchen um, counter space where I have cleaned and also I'm going to, to wipe down the contents that were on top of it and uh, that's it for that, that space of the kitchen counter space. So now I'm going to clean the other side of the, the counter and uh, the top of the window and the window themselves. And uh, also for the tap, I don't like how, how the color is in and I have tried washing it for, for a, lot of, a lot of times and it still retains the color. So today I'm going to try a um, method that I, I, saw on the, I saw right here on YouTube on how to clean the tap using vinegar. So I'm just going to soak vinegar in a paper bag, plastic bag, and uh, attach it close to the tap and leave it for, uh, and leave it on the tap for as long as possible. I am planning to leave it on the tap for uh, about one hour or two hours.
a kitchen rack at uh, the blue one that I normally store my vegetables in. So today I'm going to remove all the vegetables and wash the rack and put it in the sun to dry. Uh, also I want to, to mop the area below the, the rack itself and below the cooker and below the fridge. I normally do that every week but I also try to incorporate it also on my during my deep clean. I'm so sorry guys my camera died uh, but before that bef after the camera died I cleaned the I cleaned the kitchen counter space I also cleaned the uh, my wind the kitchen window and the wall beside behind the sink I also cleaned the wall behind the fridge and the cooker and the floor also be below the fridge and the cooker so right now I'm just cleaning the fridge trays I'm using some uh, uh, water from a bowl from the tap outside the kitchen because the tap is still soaking in vinegar uh, for the fridge I already cleaned the freezer I used a uh, vinegar and water mixture for the inside the fridge and for the outside the fridge I just used a damp piece of cloth with soap yeah that's it for the fridge So I don't want to wait for the fridge trays to dry because they are also made of glass and I don't want to break on the sink. So I'm just going to use uh, some kitchen towels, some paper towels to dry them immediately and return them back to the fridge. Also, all my vegetables and all food stuff that were in the fridge I've put in the freezer because I don't want them to go bad. But also I'm going to be doing my monthly shopping around next week. Uh, to stock up my fridge after it's all clean and fresh. So for the gas cooker, I'm just going to be using um, a damp piece of cloth with some soapy water to clean the outside, the top of the of the cooker that is. Um, for the inside, I already did a deep cleaning when I used the oven recently, so I don't want to do it again. But I just used soapy water and a piece of cloth, that's it. So for the glass part, I'm going to be using some vinegar, some vinegar and on a piece of cloth and that normally leaves the glass quickly clean. So now my tray is dry, I'm just going to reassemble it back up and uh, store my vegetables back on it.
so another place that most people tend to overlook is the switch so for the switch it tends to accumulate a lot of dirt over time but remember this is electricity and do not do not try to use water even a drop of water can be very very deadly so for this one just let the adults do it so first you just use a dry cotton bud for me that's what i use and just move along the lines of the switch do not try to go in do not try to indulge any further just clean where the where the dirt you can see along the switch and that's it um that 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 will, will leave your switch clean and also leave you safe <laughs> so that's it for that's the that's the tip for the sock So and then I clean the door. I just use the scotch bright that I've been using all along with some soapy water to scrub all the the corners and crevices of the on the door that um, tend to accumulate dust over time, and also scrub all along the door and through the glass. And after all the scrubbing, just wipe with a damp piece of cloth. So back to the tap that now has been soaking in the vinegar for now two hours. Um, you can even see the difference of how the color has changed but I've already scrubbed it once and soaked it again. So this is how it, it's looking. I'm going to go with a heavy duty scrubber and scrub all the dirt that might have accumulated or have, st have stuck to the tap. So you will not even believe the wonders that this vinegar has done. It looks like a brand new tap. wow look at that this vinegar has done a lot of wonders for this tap Eesh. so if you're also suffering from the same thing as me your taps are discoloring just try this vinegar method and it will just work wonders for you so for me when the tap looks new right now i'm just looking for a way i can uh, i can make the brass part look nicer but i am pleased and i i definitely recommend this method for you down my tank my water storage tank and then i'm just going to also wash my grill for the small gas I, I still have it until now so after that i'm just going to do some other general cleaning for the sink So this is what I'm talking about but first I'm going to soak all the kitchen towel the towels that I used to clean the kitchen today um, also then I'm going to clean the sink remove the bottom part of the sink and clean them because over time they tend to accumulate a lot of food particles from all the washing of the dishes on top of the sink um, so I'm just going to remove the, the bottom part and wash them and disinfect them in uh, 
in uh, bleach yeah in bleach kitchen sink area so now i'm just going to mop the area and the kitchen in general so i also made i already made dinner so i'm just going to mop the entire kitchen i've left the door and window open so that it can dry quicker um so that's it that's my deep clean method for my kitchen i hope you really enjoyed this video thank you so very much for watching and uh, i hope to see you next week bye Oh, before I go, I forgot to tell you, but during the the deep clean for the kitchen, I normally pour some bleach to remove all the bad odor and to kill all the germs in the sink. Okay, that's it. Bye.